Hello, hello, everybody. We're going to be watching the Pokemon Presents together. I would have done it live, but it started at 6 a.m. my time. So, I'm still tired, don't get me wrong, but we're going to watch it. So let's see what happens. Uh oh. Hello, everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. Alright. First, we'd like to share some news about Pokemon's first oh, strategic team battle game. So I have watched about half of this. I'm saved what I'm most excited for. I stopped it there, which was the Pokemon Legends Arceus. Pokemon so, Unite. Let's see. The Nintendo Switch version of the game has already been released, and the release of the mobile version has now been set for September 26th. Okay, so Pokemon Unite's getting a mobile version? In anticipation of the mobile version launch, pre-registration has begun today on the App Store and Google Play Store. Nintendo Switch and mobile device users can play together in Pokemon okay, Unite. So there's we hope play. as many people as possible will be able to enjoy playing it together. Players will also receive special gifts in their game based on the number of people who pre-registered for yeah. the mobile version, thanks to a special campaign so happening now. Special little we hope you will all pre-register and look forward to the mobile release. Players who are quick to jump in with the Nintendo yeah, Switch version that has Zero already been Aura. released can also receive Zera Aura's Unite license as a launch bonus. The Unite license can also be used in the mobile version by linking accounts. Oh, you can link accounts! And finally, I'd like to give you all a preview of some of the Pokémon that are slated to join in future updates. Mammal Swine. Sylveon! Yet, yeah, no Squirtle! Look forward to more from Pokemon no Unite Squirtle. in the future. Whatsoever. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. Yeah, this one is kind of trash. Honestly, I Pokemon didn't care about Cafe, Cafe 8 Minutes. is getting a revamp, and with it, a new title. Pokemon Cafe Some people are excited Remix. about it, but not really me. The puzzles have been refreshed with the addition of new elements with which you can mix, link, and blast puzzle icons. There will be tons of Pokemon new to Pokemon Cafe Remix, and new dress-up options. You'll also find more ways of growing and developing your staff Pokemon, so this renewed puzzle game is sure to be something that can be enjoyed for years to come. Pokemon Cafe Remix will open its doors this fall. Fall. Oh. See you next trip. Pokemon Masters kind of gave up on it. Pokemon I played Masters it, but like, gave up on it. It's two year anniversary. That wasn't that and interesting to me. Cygnusu Leon has arrived, and he's partnered up with Eternatus. Team up with brothers Leon and Hop to face Eternatus in the legendary event currently underway. To celebrate the two-year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, players will get the chance to scout up to 100 sync pairs at no cost. Plus, three different legendary events are returning at once, meaning players yeah, can team up with three legendary Pokemon. For the gotcha game. And will be returning in a special outfit as part of a Masters sync pair. N and his Pokemon are able to target all opponents with their attacks. Look forward to seeing N as well as other two year anniversary sync pairs soon. Question mark. N and question mark. 
Then, starting in September, rainbow the story rocket. arc unfolds. You see the rainbow? Villainous organizations are stirring once more as the story takes a darker turn. You won't want to miss it. We have plenty of other events and exciting content planned as well. So come join us in celebration of this special anniversary. Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our newest campaign begins. You won't want to miss it. Pokemon Go is going to get some new things. Pokemon Go, which is celebrating its fifth anniversary, will have Pokemon that were first discovered in the Galar region appearing in the wild. The Ultra Unlock Part 3 Sword and Shield event will begin on August 20th, 2021 um, at 10am local things. time. Players can and look Wulu. forward to seeing Wulu, Squavit, and Phalanx during the Phalanx. event. The legendary Pokemon Zashi and Zamazenta will also be appearing in 5-star raids. It seems that the sudden appearance of Pokemon originally discovered in the Galar region has Hoopa. something to do with the mischievous tricks of a certain mythical Pokemon. Be sure to take part in these events and discover the truth behind these curious appearances. Your adventures in the real world will only continue to grow in Pokemon Go. During gameplay, be, please be aware of your surroundings and play safely. Next up. We have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. I do plan on getting Diamond and playing it. Brilliant Diamond and playing it. Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. This game, look, it kind of looks like Link's Awakening Remastered. I mean, graphic-wise, it's a way to be, you know? King Glek took my Pokemon away. They took other people's Pokemon too. That was for creating a new universe, or so they claim. will begin.
gameplay footage! I'm just kidding, man. That's not actual gameplay footage. The release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl is now just three months away. Let's review the main points of these revitalized games. Let's just say the Pokemon in the background are After actually years, like Pokemon hints of what's and Pokemon gonna be Pearl talked about. Have been reborn. You can see Pokemon Legends, Pokemon Arceus starters, and Pokemon Diamond Shining Pearl starters. Pearl. Now it's gonna tell us about the This adventure takes game. place in the Sinnoh region, a Probably. land rich in nature with yeah. towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region, catching wild Pokemon and making new friends as you strive to complete your Pokedex. This is where I thought it was Along actually Along with your partner game. Pokemon, you'll overcome so the gym leaders of part, each yeah. area and aim to become the champion. You'll also encounter traces of the Sinnoh region's myths, passed down through the generations and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. What's the Celebi Shrine? This is Professor Rowan, who entrusts you with a Pokemon. He's a famous professor researching Pokemon evolution. This is your childhood friend and rival. He hones his skills as a Pokemon trainer through your friendly rivalry. Failure Gamer! Rourke is one of the gym leaders you'll take on during your journey. He uses Rock-type Pokemon. Everywhere you look, Team Galactic is up to something. There appears to be some sort of lofty goal behind all their audacious activity. Cynthia is investigating myths about Pokemon. She's a mysterious person who shows up at many points along your journey. Play features from Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been revamped and powered up for these new games. In the Grand Underground, you can participate in a number of activities, such as digging up fossils or creating your own secret base and decorating it with Pokemon statues. There are also places down there called Pokemon Hideaways, which okay, didn't exist so in Pokemon, Pokemon Diamond Pokemon and Hideaways? Pokemon Pearl. Apparently, the Pokemon that appear in the Pokemon hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed in your secret base. It seems that some of the Pokemon living in the Sinnoh region can only be found in this place. So be sure to fully explore okay. the so grid made it so this spread out beneath the surface of Sinnoh. Area is pretty exclusive. You can use the stickers you'll collect on your adventure to customize the effects that appear when Pokemon spring out of Pokeballs such as confetti or fireworks. By collecting stickers at various locations along your journey and decorating with them, you can make your Pokemon battles even more fun. One new feature that was not available in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl is the ability to change your outfit. Wear your favorite styles on your adventure. Good. In super contest shows, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of the music, proudly show off a contest move, and aim for a successful show. Cooperate with your partner Pokemon to really work up the crowd. In the Union Room, this release allows you to use not only local communication, but also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world in real time. Please enjoy battles and Pokemon trades with many other trainers. You can walk around with any of the Pokemon that appear in these games. Yep. Enjoy your journey through Sinnoh together with your <laughs> partner Of course Pokemon. they show the biggest Pokemon ever. Tangela is fully evolved with all kinds of Tangru? Pokemon and the mystery behind Sinnoh's myths await you. We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure with new gameplay okay, features they promised this guitar. Ooh. So, I'm probably not gonna go Piplup for my starter. I'm going either Chimchar or Turtwig. Just a bit longer for 
the start of your adventure. So, let's just take a look at all these Pokemon. If you take a look, you got Eevee, you got Sylveon, Squovit, you got Zami and Zena and Zacian, Zamazetta and Zacian, you got Dialga and Palkia, you got Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, you got Infernape and Polion and Torterra. You got Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott. Which these guys will represent Arceus here. These are Diamond Pearl. All these guys. And then Pokemon Go. Then these guys are all in Pokemon Unite. I don't know what the EV stands for. Oh, the cafe! This is the cafe mix, the Pikachu and Eevee, because they're both in the cafe mix. And then you can see that they're about to, they're probably about to announce this thing. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite. Okay, Delta yeah, there's a Palkia Switch Lite up there. Will also be released to celebrate the launch of these games. This special Nintendo Switch Lite is dressed up with art of oh, the Oh, that's right, because they released Dialga a DS. Dialga and Palkia for... Special Nintendo DS Lite Onyx, Dialga and Palkia edition, that was released back in 2006 to align with the original game's launch. It will be available to they purchase... They did release a November DS with the Dialga and Palkia edition. So they're doing the same thing Next, with Brilliant Diamond and for Pearl. Next, about the Pokemon Legends Arceus game, which is being developed by Game Freak. Oh, Pokemon Arceus Legend time. Alright. There's Cyndaquil. Rowlet. Oshawa. I don't know who I'm gonna pick. Honestly, these are the three starters I would pick from those games. long ago. So, from what I've seen so far of other trailers of this game, it looked like a Breath of the Wild style Pokemon game, which has me very intrigued. Doesn't it look very Breath of the Wild-ish? Um, look, some of the Pokemon are looking different. That's so weird. I guess this is a different setting. Sneaking up on Pokemon. Beautifly. Oh, it's a straight up throw Pokemon. Pokeball. What's that Pokemon? That looks like a new Pokemon. Oh, that's a Growlithe? Hold up. That's a Growlithe? There is a Growlithe. Hold on. I want a closer look. That's a gr That's not a Growlithe. I guess we're gonna see different variants of Pokemon. Very weird. And those Pokeballs look different. You just jumped off a cliff? Whoa. Right here, I don't know what that fish is. That fish looks different. You can ride Pokemon too. Yeah, so this is looking very Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Even from the gameplay footage we're getting here, it looks even more Breath of the Wild. Being able to ride horses, swim in the lakes and stuff. 
Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Wait, what happened when you got hit? What, you're able to dodge Pokemon? Strong style, agile style. What? Is that a, that's a great ball? That's a growler! Oh. Ooh, we can get Garchomp! Garchomp's gonna be on my team. It's official. This game looks very fun. I could be putting a lot of hours into this. I can see myself putting a lot of hours into this game right here. RP, roleplay, just kidding, rating pending. How much more? Oh wow. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements. Okay, so they're gonna the just go through the rest of the game for this remainder of time. So it's like ten Pokemon minutes of Legends reviewing. Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui. During a long Hisui? Ago, when it was region. rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. Mount Coronet towers over the center of Wait, the land. What did she say? Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG I'll be elements. Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui. During a long ago era when it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. Oh. Mount Coronet towers over the center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. The, the Sinnoh region? With the goal of completing so the this will be the, the Sinnoh region? The region? The bustling Jubilee Village will be the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of Wait, people really? from various other regions. With divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. Professor Laventon's field of study is the ecology of Pokemon. He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Captain Silene is the leader of the Survey Corps. Though she may seem to treat you harshly, deep down she's your biggest supporter. Oh, that's she a girl? She watches over your progress with care. Honestly, I thought that was a dude Commander for a second. Commander oversees the entire Galaxy team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the unwavering trust of his team members. When the Commander recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows you to join the team and has you work as a member of the Survey Corps. Survey the, of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials. Oh, so you can actually craft Pokeballs with stuff you find around? Vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokemon. Take too much damage from their attacks and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out doing your survey work. When your Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. Once you've completed a survey assignment, return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. Pokemon live all over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. 
Okay, this is kind of a kind of a Pokemon game I was hoping for. The same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, so you'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. He's too weak. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon, and a battle will begin. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles, Strong Style and Agile Style. Using a move in the Strong Style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile Style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move. While the agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Use these different styles as the situation demands to gain the upper hand in battle. Cool! When you report the results of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. You can advance your research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain moves multiple times, and more. Seek out and meet lots of different Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. Now, we'd like to introduce some of the Pokemon living in the rich natural Damn environments there. that are spread out across the Hisui region. I think region. that's supposed to be a bear. This Pokemon with distinctive antlers is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer? Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh natural environment. It's of an the evolution of Stantler? It has strong ties with the local people, and it has been treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. Garments made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. This Pokemon is Basculegion. It can swim with great power. Is it a bear scooter? Those live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished oh, in the upstream. I got this it, Pokemon bro. gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it swim on and on without tiring. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon with its great majestic wings is the Hisuian form of Braviary. It comes to Hisui in the winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate shockwaves. This Pokemon, which works with a partner, is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. Okay. It is a very wary Pokemon so that appears to protect its horse. territory. Hisui and Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator, allowing it to stay active and lively even in this chilly land. The horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily, so Hisui and Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. The Pokemon Arceus holds the key to this story. But what connection does it have to your adventure? We hope you look forward to finding out on the day when you can finally meet the people and Pokemon of the Hisui region for yourself. So I just can't believe Stanley is going to be getting an evolution. Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. Pre-orders for Pokemon nice. Legends Arceus, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and Pokemon Shining Pearl will become available on Nintendo eShop after this broadcast. We'd also like to announce that support for these titles is planned to come to Pokemon Arceus, the cloud service for Nintendo Switch and compatible mobile devices in 2022. Keep an eye on our upcoming announcements okay, for further so we'll details. Okay, so we'll be able to use Pokemon at home? As for the ranked battles that so many of you continue to enjoy, these will take place as before in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We hope you all have fun participating in even more competitive okay, play. Okay, so ranked future. battles will not be taking take place in those games. Those are all the latest updates we can share with you today. We hope you're looking forward to all the exciting Pokemon adventures to come. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. All right, very interesting. Pokemon Unite, Remix, Masters, Go.
Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, the Light Dialga. Version. Hold on. Tsunomia. Nah, that'll work. So, I'm just gonna talk about a few things. If you guys do want to actually watch this without me chatting over it, I'm gonna put the link of it in the description. So, if you want to watch it without me blabbering over it, or if you've already watched it, just go check out the real thing. But, yeah, this had a lot of hype and some things that I'm not even excited for, like Pokemon Cafe Remix. Definitely plan on giving di Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Arceus. So yeah, I just can't believe that Pokemon Legends Arceus is gonna be the Hitsu region, but it's gonna be known as what's to come of the Sinnoh region. Which I believe the Sinnoh region is Diamond and Pearl. So... That's literally why they remade Diamond and Pearl. Because Diamond and Pearl is relevant to Pokemon Legends Arceus. So those three games are actually connected. Pokemon Legends Arceus is the beforehand of Diamond and Pearl. Of the Sinnoh. It's the beforehand of the Sinnoh region, which is Diamond and Pearl. So yeah, I shall see you guys later, because I plan on going live a bit later today. But first, this has to come out. But yet again, this did come out at like 6 in the morning for me. So I gave myself a bit of time to like wake up and whatnot, so... Wake up, eat breakfast, other stuff. But yeah, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of the day. And I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye!